Welcome back to a new AI tutorial. In this video, we are going to create an AI data analysis assistant using Streamlit and Langchain. We are going to have a web app where we can upload our data and then ask questions about it. You can see the app that we are going to be creating in this video from the screen right now. Let's start coding. I'm in the Visual Studio Code interface right now. You can use any code editor that you want. It doesn't matter. I'm going to close this welcome page and create something like app.py. And let's talk about our app firstly. Our app is going to take an Excel file from the user and it's going to display the few rows of the data. So we can say like display data and next it's going to take inputs in a written way and it's going to return the analysis results. So we are going to have a web app. It's going to do data analysis with our text input. Like we are going to ask what's the average age in this data set and it's going to return us the result for that. And I have a data set in here for this apps test, but you can use any data that you want. It doesn't matter. I just create the simple thing like this and now we can start coding our app. So for sure, we are going to need Streamlit for the web app. So I will say import Streamlit as ST. Next up, we are going to need pandas because we are going to take the Excel file and we are going to turn that into a pandas data frame because we are going to be working with pandas data frame agent. In the next place, we need to create pandas data frame agent from Langchain. So I will say from Langchain experimental agents import create pandas data frame agent. Next up, we are going to have our large language model from length chain, I will say from length chain, not experimental, large language models, import open AI. And next I'm going to say like, actually I'm not going to select any of them. I'm going to give our app a title. Like I will say student title and I'm going to say AI data analysis assistant. Next up, I'm going to say, we are going to set the file uploader at the first place. So I will say uploaded file, and it's going to be Streamlit file uploader. We can say like choose a file, and we are going to specify the types of the file, such as CSV or Excel, like this. Next up, I'm going to say, if file is not uploaded, so I'm going to call it like this, if uploaded file is not none, the next step we are going to say for CSV, if uploaded file name ends with, and we are going to say that CSV, we are going to do data frame equals to pandas read CSV uploaded file. And if it's an Excel file, we will say else if uploaded file name ends with we will say that xlsx data frame is going to be pandas read excel and we are going to take the uploaded file like this next up we are going to write outside this condition right now we will say simulate write we can say like first five rows of the uploaded file and we can say Streamlit write data frame head. Next up, I'm going to say Streamlit write and I will say ask a question about your data. And next up, we are going to take the question as a text input from Streamlit. So question is going to be Streamlit text input. Enter your question. And we will say if question is not empty, so we will say if question, we are going to create the link chain agent. Like I will say define create agent. And we are going to be passing the data frame inside this function. And large language model is going to be equal to the OpenAI. The thing that we import in here, we initialize it in here. Next up, by the way, I'm going to give my API key from terminal using export. I'm going to talk about the API key process when we are going to make this app run. I'm going to set the agent like create pandas data frame agent. We are going to give large language model and we are going to give data frame. I'm going to set the variables as true 
and we are going to say hello dangerous code true. Next up, I'm going to say return agent. So it's going to be returning our agent. And I'm going to be creating the agent with the uploaded data frame using create agent function I just created with data frame I have. Next up, we are going to be getting the answer from the agent like with, I'm going to add a spinner in here like streamlit spinner analyzing. And next up, I will say answer is going to be agent.run question. And I will say streamlit.write answer and I'm going to write the answer from my agent like this by the way let me quickly check why this looks like this actually I type like questions in both here so I can change them three and it's going to be working smoothly right now. so this is it this is our app let's quickly talk about it we make our imports we give a title then we use file uploader for taking the data from the user next we say if uploaded file is not none, which means user uploads a file, we say like uploaded file name ends with CSV, so use with CSV. If it ends like XLSX, then use with Excel. Then we display the first five rows and we take the text input. And if the text input is provided, we create an agent like this. Next up, we make our agent run in here and we display the answer. So, by the way, I also want to show you my Langchain version, like both Langchain and it's 0 to 12 and Langchain experimental. If you are having problems with the codes, you can just install these versions of the libraries and it's going to be working out smoothly. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to export my OpenAI API key so I can use the OpenAI language model from here. And let's talk about the OpenAI API key. So you can reach the OpenAI's API website by typing Google OpenAI API Playground. And you are going to see the website they prepared for the API users. And when you sign up for the first time, they gift you $5 of balance and you can use that balance for using the API key in this video and it's completely free to generate an API key so you need to go to the OpenAI API Playground then in from the key section you need to create a new key with the account that you create and after creating that what you are going to do is you are going to come to this terminal and you will say export OpenAI API key and you are going to pass your key from here you are going to paste your key and you need to press enter so right now I'm going to enter my key I'm going to press enter then I'm going to clear the terminal and I will be re-recording in a second so I have my API key right now now I will say simulate run app.py after saving my file from here so I'm going to make it run and my app is going to be displaying in my browser if it doesn't displays in your computer you can just copy this address or you can just go to this address from here and you are going to see the web app that you create in this address so simply just hit this one and you are going to be in the app that we just coded and i'm going to be re-recording in the browser so i'm in my browser right now here is our app it seems really good you can change the settings from here like you can save it to the white mode or you can just say like light them after behind I'm not going to do that I'm going to keep using the dark and now we have the AI data analysis assistant I'm going to be adding my data that I show in here I just uploaded in here and we can see that it uploaded correctly and we read it with pandas and it says first five rows of the uploaded file and now it says ask a question about your data and now we can ask questions to our data like let's say what is the average horsepower for the petrol fuel type cars and we expect it to do a group by let's see the result it says the average horsepower for the fuel type cars is 333 so we can get the petrol average horsepower from here so let's say like 
give me the value counts for car brands and let's see our result in here it says 5 Toyota, 3 Audi, 3 Chevrolet, 2 Honda, 2 Mercedes, 2 BMW, 2 Ford and 1 Tesla so it's working really really good let's test it more like let's say what is the highest model year in the data let's see our response it says 2023 and we, i can see it from here too let's say like what is the highest price in the data and our answer is in here great so let's ask like which car brand has the highest average price and it's Honda and we can ask more questions like which fuel type has the most average horsepower and we are going to get our result in here It says still analyzing, it's doing the operations in the background. It says oh it says agent stopped due to an iteration limit or time limit. So let's make it run again. I will say horsepower like this and let's see what's going to be our response in here to this question. It says the fuel type with the most average horsepower is diesel with 333.75 horsepower. So it's working really really good and I'm going to ask a final question I will say how many cars are there which has the model year less than 2020 and our result is going to be 18 and we can change it like 2015 our result is going to be 12 so our AI data analysis agent is working perfectly Let's go back to the code editor and summarize the code, then we can finish this tutorial. So we can close the terminal right now and let's talk about the code. So in here we talked about what's going to our app be doing and it takes an Excel file, it displays data, it takes inputs and it returns the list of results. So it's doing all the job it needs to do. And next, here we do our imports, Streamlight for the web app, Pandas for the data frame manipulation, Langchain agents create Pandas data frame agent for our agent, and OpenAI for the large language model. Next, we give our app a title like AI data analysis assistant, and we take a file uploader input, like we say choose a file, and we want the types of CSV and XLSX Excel file format. Next up, we say if uploaded file is not none, then if the uploaded file ends with CSV, use read CSV for turning the upload into a pandas data frame and it if ends with XLSX, then turn that into a data frame using read Excel. And next we say first five rows of the uploaded file and we display them by data frame.head and we say ask a question about your data. And in the question side we have enter your question in here from streamlit text input and we say if question then we create our agent using this code in here and next we return the agent then we use our function in here for creating an agent with the data frame uploaded in here and we say with streamlit spinner it says analyzing and we return the answer from agent.run and we display the answer like this in here using streamlit.answer on the thing that we used agent.run in here and this is the final for our coding tutorial thanks for watching this ai tutorial i have a playlist named ai and langchain tutorials where i have more than 10 videos just like this one you can reach that playlist from the cards of this video or from the link in the description also i'm sharing a new data science video every week you can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this have a great day